Hi guys, so I'm finally uploading my first video and I'm really excited to show you guys how I created this green glitter eye pad together with a nude lip. So before starting off with my makeup, I'm applying a serum from Makeup Forever. This helps to hydrate and smoothen out my skin. To achieve a golden glow for this look, I'm using a primer from Tom Ford. This primer gives a shimmer to your skin and it doesn't feel too heavy at the same time. For foundation, I'm using something from NYX. It's their Total Drop Control Foundation. I've dotted it all over my face and I'm blending it out using a silly sponge. As you can see, there are still clumps forming. So I've actually used my fingers to further blend it out. Next, I'm using a concealer from NARS to hide the redness and to brighten areas of my face. For my eyebrows, I use a palette that I got from BH Cosmetics. Using the angled part of the brush, I start drawing in my arc with the wax. And then without picking too much product up, I start filling in the front of my eyebrows as well. So to make sure that my eyebrow stays in place, I go over it with the eyebrow powder. After I'm done with my eyebrows, I start blending out my concealer using the Tarte Foundation brush. Next, I'm applying my concealer under my eyebrow and blending it out to further define my eyebrows. So for baking, I'm using this Makeup Forever HD powder on areas that I've applied my concealer to. For this look, I'll be using a lot of colours from the Love Contours All Palette from NYX. Starting with the lightest shade on this palette, I apply this colour all over my eyelids. Using the same flat eyeshadow brush, I pick up the brown tone and I'm going to apply this colour all over my crease. Next, I'm taking a darker shade from the same palette, applying it to my crease and blending it out as I go. Next, I'll be using the Mundas palette from Urban Decay. To achieve a green base, I'm using light year all over my lids. Next, I'm applying Galaxy over the green so that I can get a little blue shade to it. Just to get a little golden shimmer, I am applying Lithium with my fingertips over the brown. So this is one of the way that I usually apply my glitter. I apply a little bit of this glitter primer and then I use my fingertips to apply the glitter to it. For my eyeliner, I usually use the end of my eyebrow as a guide to where my line should be and then I form this mini triangle and I fill it up. So you could skip this step if you don't feel it's necessary but I really like the clean sharp edge so I go over it again with another eyeliner. I'm going over my crease again with the darker shade and connecting it to my eyeliner. Using the same light brown shade from earlier on, I am putting this on my lower eyelids to create a little depth. Using one of my favourite mascara, I am applying this to my lower lash. Mm -hmm. 
Using the same brown shade that I used on my eyes, I am using this to contour the rest of my face as well. After which, I brush off the loose powder that I actually applied earlier on for the baking. Using a small round brush, I pick up the light brown shade and start shading the side of my nose, also creating a V shape at the tip of your nose for a sharper tip. So again, going back to the white shade that we used earlier, I am using my fingertips to just go over my nose bridge. Here I'm using Cover FX Sunlight, I dripped it on my cheekbone and I'm just using my finger to blend it out. I really love this highlighter because it doesn't move the powder that you apply below and your makeup still stays. For that extra golden glow, I'm using Jeffree Star's highlighter in King Cut. I apply this on my cheekbones, my forehead and my nose bridge. Also my cupid's bow. To get that extra shine, I usually use the fingers to apply Becca's Skin Perfector and Press Pore in the corners of my eyes and the tip of my nose. To pair this glitter eye with a muted lip, I am using Jeffree Star Eye Nude. Last but not least, to blend the entire face, I am using Makeup Forever Press Powder. So this is the final look that I've created for my first tutorial. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more and also let me know what you think.